Martino. You should have studied your history, babe. Nobody steals from Mr. Cologne and lives to spend it. Lenny, please, you gotta believe me. I've been with you for eight years. I never took a dime. When? Get some ice water and wake him up. Can I get you something, Lenny? Yeah. The two million dollars and an NSF. Look, there's got to be some way to reach Dr. McLaren. Sorry doesn't help me right now. Sorry isn't going to make my little girl's fever come down. Me? All right, look, we'll deal with this problem by ourselves. Thank you. For nothing. He's sorry. Maybe we should take it to the emergency room. No, I I'll put her in the tub and see if I could cool her down. I'll put her in the tub. You try to get some sleep before it turns into Night of the Living Dead around here. Tony, she needs me. Hey, we all need you. Look, Rach, if you don't get some sleep, you're gonna drop. I'm fine. Where's the thermometer? It's in your hand. Right. Morning. Mike Amateur is in your office. Who? Organized Crime Bureau of Cleveland. He called yesterday? Oh, yeah. And if there's anything else you'd like, anything, you just let me know. And if she's busy, you can call me. Where'd he come from? What? Hi, Mike. Tony Scally. Hi. Tony, nice to meet you. Uh, this is my chief of detective, Sid Madison. We spoke earlier. Yes, hi. Hi. Uh, what can we do for you? I mean, you can help us bring down the biggest crime family in the Midwest. Oliver Sweet Tooth Lloyd, the man of the hour. He's been Lenny Cologne's accountant for the last eight years. Sweet. Would you like a fresh cup? Uh, yeah, thanks. Now, Sweet Tooth had a... Thank you. Sweet Tooth had a sweet little skimming operation going to the tune of $2 million last week Cologne found out about it. And Sweet Tooth left town in a hurry. This man, Rafe Bennett, has been sent to hunt him down, retrieve the two mil, and extract Sweet Tooth from the land of the living. Our agents have been tracking both men. We're pretty sure they're in the Tri-County area. They're still... Get a copy off that video and uh, distribute eight by tens of Sweet Tooth and Bennett. We tried to build a case against Bennett for years. Couldn't make it stick. But the heat is so great on Sweet Tooth right now, he'll have to roll over on Cologne just to stay alive. Well, if he's still in Eastbridge, we'll find him. Great. Oh, one last thing. Uh, guys like Bennett, they're a different breed than what you find in bedroom communities like this. He's an extremely violent individual. He will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Uh. We've dealt with violent individuals before. Hmm. All right, any questions? No. Okay. Agent Amador? Hmm. Uh, Mike, um, do you have plans for dinner? Um. Hi, it's me. How's my little girl? <sighs> She's still running a temperature. What's Dr. McLaren say? Well, he thinks it's a virus. But if she's not better by tomorrow, he wants to see her. 
And how's my big girl? Exhausted. Behind schedule. Worried. All those good things. I call the school and they're gonna get a substitute for me. Good. I have to run out now and get some medicine for Sarah at the pharmacy. Well, I can do that for you. No, it's okay. I got a sitter. Rachel, I wish you'd let me help. Tony, please. I can handle this, all right? Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. Rach, she's gonna be fine. I know. Okay, get back to me when you can. Thanks. Tony! Stan and Ricky spotted Rafe Bennett perched outside the West Hotel. Any sign of Sweet Tooth? Not yet. I'm trying to get a sample of his signature, see if we can match it to the hotel registry. You got exits and entrances covered? Yeah. And four perimeter teams posted on foot. Good. Put a loose tail and a couple of sweep units on Bennett in case he moves. Right. in place. Sweet Tooth is still in the hotel. Bennett and Karis are waiting across the street. Something's happening here. Sweet Tooth just came out of the hotel. He's walking north on Kipling. Bennett's moving out. OK, let's pin him in. Be cool, Carol. Don't let him spot us. Watch it! Go now! You blind! You almost killed me, man! Listen, you're the one who needs to see an eye, dog! I'm the one who's stunning in here, man! I'm driving here! are being picked up at the request of the Organized Crime Bureau. Dad, say hello to Sweet Tooth. Go! Come on! Where is he? Set on Sweet Tooth yet? About half an hour ago. 150 grand. Good. And he's all tucked away, nice and snug, no problems. He's in the safe house. You guys were great. Sweet Tooth is giving up everyone he's known since he was in short pants. Happy to oblige, Mike. How long do you want us to keep him in the safe house? Eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I've got him booked on a nine o'clock flight back. What about his extradition papers? <sighs> well, I've already faxed a request to Cleveland. They'll be approved, sent back by the end of the day. Great. Keep him safe, Scully. But Bennett's still roaming around out there. He can't let your guard down. Not to worry. Not to worry. This is the biggest case of my career. I'm not going to take a breath till Sweet Tooth is in federal lockup. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hey! <laughs> they weren't kidding about Sweet Tooth's nickname, either. The guy went through major sugar withdrawal. Offer me 20 bucks to buy him a candy bar. <laughs> Would you please tell me why every woman in this place is so gaga over this guy? Is there something I'm not saying? <laughs> it's not his look. And he isn't exactly working overtime in the Witten Charm Department, either. Look, he doesn't light my candle particularly, but, um, I can see it. <laughs> this is a kind of a cuddly thing, working there. <laughs> Boss, better get downstairs. Rafe Bennett just posted a $150,000 bond for Sweet Tooth in cash. <sighs> What's the problem, babe? Under the surety law, when bail is posted in cash over $10,000, I have 48 hours to find out where that cash came from. Then we got no problem. Huh? If in that time you can't legitimately show where it came from, I can turn you over to the feds under the RICO Act. Why all the hassle? Do you not like me for some reason? Forget about it, Bennett. By the time you forge the paperwork, Sweet Tooth will be back in Cleveland. 
Better keep your head down when you get back. There's gonna be subpoenas flying all over the Buckeye State. You know, this is a great pen. You don't get pens like this where I come from. I'd pay a lot of money for this pen. There's nothing for sale in this office. Don't push it. You obviously don't know who you're dealing with, little man. Shoved you into the car. Yeah, and then she got in. She? Wait, there were two of them? Yeah, two of them. The guy held me down in the back seat, and then she ran into that poor guy. Why, why do you think they did this? I don't know. Hey, that's her. It was like she just sped up and mowed the guy down. Let me through here. Tony, nobody believes me. Rachel, it's all right. It's not all right. Nobody believes me. I didn't hit that man, Tony. I swear I didn't. I know you didn't, honey. I'm going to straighten everything out. Uh, we appreciate your concern, but the best thing you can all do for us right now is get back to work. Sid, I want the lab to turn Rachel's car inside out. Prints, five as anything. Put the whole damn thing under a microscope if they have to. Come on, Rach. Why don't you have a seat? Wait a minute, Sonia. I gotta go home. Sarah's medicine is in my car. I gotta get back to the baby. Rachel, look at me, okay? Sarah's gonna be fine. I already talked to Mrs. Olson. We gotta get through this first. Rachel, you've been arrested. You understand that, right? Wait. to file the report. Come on, boss. Can't someone else do it? You're the arresting officer. The report, Stan? You need the booker for reckless driving and hit and run. Name.
judge didn't require any bail. You're my wife. Rachel, stay right here. I thought I'd get your attention. You son of a bitch! Uh, uh, uh. This isn't brain surgery, babe. It's very simple. You give me sweet tooth, I clear your wife. You clear her how? I give you the two idiots that were responsible for the hit and run. Yeah, they're just gonna waltz in here and confess. If I tell them to, they will. In my part of the country, people who work for you do what they're told. In my part of the country, you don't extort a police commissioner! I'd love to be a fly on the wall for that conversation with the DA. My wife was thrown into the back seat of her car and held down while a woman who looked exactly like her ran over that poor man. Yeah, you'll sell that one. I'm staying at the Stanway when you change your mind. Because guys like you can't live without a wife. I mean, who's gonna pick out these snappy ties? You come into my town, mess with my wife? The Stanway. If you don't have the number, call information. I'm sure they're listed. It doesn't matter that Bennett set me up. Nobody's gonna believe my story. You saw how they all looked at me at the station, like I was absolutely crazy. That's not true. It's true. No jury's gonna believe me. There were no witnesses. Nobody saw them grab me. We don't know that yet. Yes, we do. There were none. You know, there's no way out of this, Tony. They are gonna send me to jail. Rachel. Oh, Sarah. Oh, he's my sweetie. Oh, Mom is here now. Everything's gonna be okay. How's she doing? About the same. Is David home from school yet? Yeah, he's upstairs doing his homework. Thanks, Mrs. Olson. I don't care what you have to do. Don't let them take me away from my baby. Did the lab find anything in Rachel's car? No, not yet. They need more time. We don't have more time. Amador picks up Sweet Tooth in 14 hours. <sighs> okay, I'll call County. See if we can borrow some warm bodies to help out. Any witnesses? None in the parking lot where Rachel was grabbed. We're still looking. And all the ones who saw the hit and run swear it was Rachel. Damn it. I did talk to the hospital. The guy who was hit came out of surgery. He's gonna make it. Uh, keep me posted. She didn't do anything wrong. She's not gonna go to jail. Yeah. What if she does? She won't. Hey, look at me. We have to be strong for her now. She's gonna need our help. Around the house with Sarah, whatever she needs, we have to be there for her. Temperature goes down, and it goes right back up again. Get some rest. I want to spend every second with her and with David. Every precious second. Rachel, we got to go over it again. From the moment you walked onto that parking lot. I've been wiping my brains, Tony. I already told you everything I can remember. No cars drove by, no one pulling in and out of a parking space. It was empty. OK, I want you to close your eyes and imagine yourself back at that parking lot. Now, describe it to me exactly as it was earlier today. The sun was right over my head, high up in the sky. It was hot. And then I opened up my purse to look for my keys. Did you find them? Yeah. But I didn't take them out. Why not? 
What is it, Rachel? I looked up and I saw something. What? Well, as I was leaving the, the medical center, off to the left side, I saw some kind of push cart. A vendor? Yeah, it was a hot dog vendor. He had his cart parked right outside the building. You sure? Yeah. I, I couldn't see his face because I was looking out of the corner of my eye. That's all right. There's someone out there who can help us. I'm going to go find him. You going to be all right? There's a hot dog vendor around here. Teddy. Uh, Teddy. Uh, do you know where he sets up shop? Right around the corner. Well, he's not there. Uh, does he come every day? Oh, yes. He there every day, all day. Very hard-working man. You don't have any idea what Teddy's last name is, do you? No, just a Teddy. Thank you. Anything come up? Theodore Ellis applied for his vendor's license in 86. Name of business, Teddy's. Yeah, that's him. Got a home address? Sweet Tooth's extradition papers. They just came in. Incomplete. Sweet Tooth stays at the safe house. Tell me, what are you talking They're not signed by the governor. No, they're not. Well, I'll just get them right to him. Call Amador. Tell him he might have to change Sweet Tooth's plane reservation. I'll do that. I don't know if Sweet Tooth's gonna make it. The guys at the safe house say he needs a sugar fix so bad he's climbing the walls. My heart bleeds for him. heard from you all afternoon. Did you find the hot dog vendor? No, we're still looking. Try to get some sleep, why don't you? Why isn't Sweet Tooth at the safe house? Honey, I'll call you back. Something happened? Could be. Try to rest. Fight. Why isn't Sweet Tooth at the safe house? Because I moved him, that's why. Why wasn't I informed? This is my guy, Scotty. You know how important this is to me. Sorry, Mike, I should have called you. It was for his own protection. All right, all right, okay, fine. But now tell me where he is so I can send the marshals over to pick him up. I can't do that. We haven't heard from the governor's office yet. Oh, no, you're kidding. All right? It's a boilerplate procedure. Nobody waits to hear from the governor. I do. And how long will that take? 
Well, it depends. You make me very nervous, Scully. What is happening here? Please don't tell me you lost him. We didn't lose him. Then what? I've been straight with you. Please be straight with me. to my wife? Yeah, and I'm... I'm very sorry. Bennett set her up. He's trying to put the screws to me. He's gonna hang her out to dry unless I give him Sweet Tooth. You gave him back to Bennett? No, I didn't do anything yet. But he's got me in a trick bag, and I can't get out. I can't let my wife go to prison. And you can't do anything stupid. Listen, Tony. You'll have the full cooperation of the federal government. Meaning what? Meaning they can help you. Federal government can't help me? How? No one can. The, the DA's a personal friend of mine, and it won't matter. He's got a bulletproof case against Rachel, whether he wants it or not. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I feel for you. I really do. But if you don't deliver Sweet Tooth to me by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm coming back here with a subpoena. You're a good guy, Skelly. I'd hate to see them slap you with obstruction of justice. We have the report on Rachel's car? Just came in. And? They didn't find a thing. Number for the Stanway Hotel, please. Mr. Rafe Bennett, please. Rachel, I didn't know what else to do. We killed the witness. The only guy who could. Oh my God. I got nothing. I mean, nothing. You go to court, you lose. And you'll spend three years in jail, minimum. That can't happen. I won't let that happen. Tony, listen to me. I'm scared, too. I'm more scared than I've ever been in my whole life. A part of me wants you to call Bennett and make a deal. Because that will put some of my fears to rest. But I'm angry, too. I'm angry that these people can so easily manipulate our lives. Just hang us out over a ledge until we give in to them. If you make the deal with Bennett, that anger would never go away. Not for me. Especially not for you. You're a good man, Tony. You can't let these people take that from you. It's not a matter of good or bad. It's survival. The survival of our family. That's right. It's all about survival. If you make the deal, it'll destroy our family. Because it'll destroy you. I can't live with a man who hates himself. And you and the children shouldn't have to live with a woman who's so full of anger. You know what I think we should do? I think we should make the anger work for us. For the first time since this whole thing happened, I want to fight. I'm tired of crying and holding the baby and being afraid. I want to fight these people. Only I can't. You can. 
Tony, you always told me everybody has a weakness. Not these guys. I don't believe that. They're just a bunch of thugs and killers. How smart can they be? Smart has nothing to do with it. They're ruthless and greedy and... and they mistrust everyone, including themselves. So start there. Mistrust makes you vulnerable. Yes, it does. And so does a weakness for candy. Sweet Tooth! How you doing? I'm Commissioner Scally. Uh, I got a few questions I gotta ask you about Rafe Bennett. Stuff at small town. I only talk to Amador. True. Well, not a big shot federal agent. But us little leaguers, we have a few things to offer. Like what? Well, we'll think of something. Um, this guy, uh, Bennett, he's a, he's a real fox, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, uh, this guy, he's, uh, he's crafty. What is the deal here? Why can't I get a damn candy bar? It's against regs. Prisoners can only eat food prepared in a municipal kitchen. That's a crock. What are you gonna do? Um, so, I was wondering, uh, how does Bennett communicate with Cologne when he's out of town? Most of these guys have some kind of a, of a system. I'll give you a hundred bucks for the other half of that. A hundred bucks for this? You're kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding? I wish I could. I could use the money. There's just a couple other things I would like to know. You, you gotta give me some of that. I'll tell you anything you wanna know. Anything. Please. There he is. White hat. His name is Dino. Sweet Tooth doesn't know his last name. He's Cologne's hitman of choice. He's off to over 20 people since he's been with the organization. His parents must be very proud of him. When someone's been a bad boy, Cologne sends this charmer. Do we know how Bennett and Cologne handle their long distance communication? Well, according to Sweet Tooth, Bennett will only call Cologne from a safe payphone. They have a system. Whenever he comes into a new city, Bennett goes to the train station. The phone on the right, as he comes in, that's the one he uses. We've already had guys out there to wire it up. So far, no calls. How much time do we have to do this? Two hours. The first thing we gotta do is get Bennett's partner out of that hotel room. We may have to throw rules and regulations out the window here. This may be cowboy time. If any of you are uncomfortable with that, now's the time to speak up. I'll understand. Rachel's family boss, whatever it takes. Let's bring this guy down so hard the ground's gonna shake. There's a man with a gun in here. It's just me, and I ain't got no gun. So unless you got a warrant, fellas. Police officer! Oh, oh, just got yourself oh. arrested, pal! Attempted assault on a police officer! Come on, put him on the floor! I'm trying! I didn't do nothing! Old biblical saying, Eddie. The wicked flee when no one pursues. Oh, Eddie. What's this? Huh? I got him. We'll have to check that out. Come on. Get out of here!
What'd you do? Call maid service or something? Desk. Yeah, this is Mr. Bennett, room 301. Yes, Mr. Bennett. Yeah, did uh, my partner, Mr. Karras, leave a message for me? Uh, let me check. No, sir, nothing before he checked out. He checked out? Yes, sir, about an hour ago. Anything we can do for you? Sir? Yeah. Mr. Bennett? Who is this? This is Sharon Silverstein from New Liberty Bank in Shaker Heights. I wanted to call to let you know that we received your wire transfer of $2 million from Eastbridge, New York, and that the money is in your account and secure. What $2 million? That's right. Now, if there's anything we can do for you, be sure to let us know. How did you get this number? What city, please? Uh, give me the number to the New Liberty Bank in Shaker Heights. New Liberty? Yeah, Sharon Silverstein. Just a minute. Yes, this is Miss Silverstein. How may I help you? Rafe Bennett. How did you know I was here? We got your number off the wire transfer. I never transferred any money. There's no $2 million. Oh, well, that's not what your account says. on the wall during that conversation. Mr. Cologne, someone set me up to look like I pocketed Sweet Tooth's money. Two million dollars is an awful lot of money to explain, Rafe. You set me up. And now you're facing early retirement from breathing. However, you could choose what's behind door number two and get yourself a new identity and government protection. All you have to do is confess, my son. Will Passenger Chief Hollister please come to the courtesy phone at the terminal building? Passenger Chief Hollister to the courtesy phone. Please. Showtime, folks. Dino! <laughs> Can I see your license? I need to talk to Commissioner Scully right away. Please!
It's over. What? Bennett gave up the two who did the hit and run and killed the hot dog vendor. We're getting their confessions now. All charges against you have been dropped. I don't think I've ever loved you as much as I do right now. Why is that? You saved me. I saved you? So I get there, and Bennett looks like death. Like he saw a ghost, he was so scared. <laughs> he practically begged me to sit in the squad cover. It was beautiful. Yeah, don't mess with Eastbridge PD. Yeah. Uh, you got that right. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to tell you how grateful Rachel and I are for everything. Yeah, just, just doing our job, boss. No, no, it was more than your job. We are in pretty tough shape for a while there, and you guys were right behind us. It meant a lot. Hey, Dino! <laughs> hey, you spooked better all the way into witness relocation. Good job, Freddy. Gee, thanks, boss. Hey, Mike's looking for you. Mike? He's an Amador. <laughs> I told you I don't know how you pulled it off. I never thought we had a prayer getting better. Hey, always a pleasure to put the bad guy behind boss. Thank you. Uh, Mike, before you go, uh, there's one little thing I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering, how is it you attract all these women? I, I mean, no offense, but guys like you and I, we aren't exactly Robert Redford. What are you talking about? What women? What women? Every woman in this station house wants to have your baby. Really? <sighs> Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. <laughs>